and welcome to the NBS Show Reviews. I am your host, Norman Sanzo. Joining me today is Silver Quill. Oh, joy, a day to let loose my inner cynic. Yay. What could go wrong, right? What could go right in this hodgepodge world? Oh, wow. Someone's a bit cranky. Anyway. <laughs> also joining us today is Sapphire Heart Song. As long as we're not singing Don't Go Breaking My Heart, I'll be fine. Okay. Oh, we can. Don't go breaking my heart, okay, Miss Safi. I'm taking off my headphones now. <laughs> Don't go breaking my head. Okay, that I can do. But anywho, but anywho, in this episode, we are going to review Season 8, Episode 10, The Breakup Breakdown. In this episode, Big Macintosh... Wow, why did they say Big Macintosh? Anyway, uh, Big Macintosh has romantic plans for Sugar Bell on Hearts and Hoofs Day. But he overheard her tell Mrs. Cake she's planning to break up with him. Meanwhile, the Cutie Mark Crusaders try to find out who Sweetie Belle's secret admirer could be. Huh, okay. Um, the wording for this episode is really, really all over the place. Mm. So, anywho, before we head into the review, first impressions are in order. Silver, what do you think of said episode? Well, it's fun because, for starters, it's a rare glimpse at what the guys are doing. And it's nice to see them being the big romantics. At least two out of the three. Mm -hmm. Discord serves as the voice of cynicism, uh, especially when it comes to things like their version of Valentine's Day. Everyone makes the great, oh, it's just a day for gift cards and hallmarks. And if you need a day to tell someone you love them, you're probably a dysfunctional couple right off the bat. There's more to it than that. But I don't know. I mean, how how do I put this? Um, Hearts and Hoof or Valentine's Day is technically just a day to remind ourselves to say or to do or to show our significant other some more lovey-dovey stuff. That's in my opinion. But in all honesty, I can see where you're coming from, Silver. That's not where I'm coming from. It's Discord. I'm not bitter (laughs) much. Uh, All right, all right, all right. How dare you accuse me, Norman? I demand pistols at dawn. Uh, how? Oh, you missed. It's on somewhere. How about card games on motorcycles? On motorcycles! <laughs> Anything more to add, Silver? There are a lot of tropes that if you've been around the block a long time, as I have, because I'm middle-aged, it's funny that it's a collection of silliness, but it works in in small doses. And that's really all I got to say here. All right, then. All right, then. And Seppi, how about you? The only love I need is from my boyfriend and my doggo. My doggo oh. is giving me kisses, and I love him. Oh, doggo is giving you kissy kisses. <laughs> After he Do- broke in my room. <laughs> <laughs> oh, doggo, kissy kisses. Silver, I hate you. Also, Sam, get out. Silver, <laughs> Yay, doggo die. No, do- <laughs> no, don't, don't go. T- don't go throw it away. The dog. The dog's appreciation yeah. is a treasure. And I don't want them doing things. Anyways, <laughs> my thoughts on the episode. Um, I didn't really like it. It was your typical oh misunderstanding shenanigans uh, episode, and I didn't really enjoy it. <laughs> oh, really? No. Huh. Eh, okay. I've seen things like this before, like on TV and social media, where. Somebody says something out of context, and then it, there's this whole misunderstanding thing going on, and then there's nothing but misunderstanding Sammy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, doggy kissu kissu. <laughs> uh, okay, Sam, get out of there. No, <laughs> bad dog. <laughs> I'm not going to edit this out. Yeah, I'm just going to no, keep no, it all no, in. Don't. Yeah, oh my in. goodness. Anyways. <laughs> but yeah... I've just never really enjoyed these type of things, so it's like I've found myself kind of just skipping through stuff. I don't know. (laughs) I don't really enjoy these things. Although, Safi, I have to point out, you sound like a a veteran. I've seen things. I have seen things, and I did not enjoy them. (laughs) All right, you then. Then there's my dog giving me an absolutely confused look. Hello. Aw, lefty doggo. Lefty doggo. But anywho, as for me... I... <laughs> Yay, this is why go. I don't like having my dog in my room. Sam, get out. <laughs> don't go. Go. So, anywho, as for me, 
I enjoyed this episode. This episode was a lot of fun. Uh, reading the synopsis again, it was rather confusing. It was, what the hell are you trying to talk about here? The synopsis here kind of spoils it, but watching it, it was a lot of fun. I like the interaction between Discord and the rest, and the B plot for this one was kind of not needed, really. Like, it didn't serve to do anything for the whole arc of the story. Well, probably we'll talk about it more later. But still, I still enjoy this one. And yeah, I say go give it a watch. So anywho, um, if you guys have not watched this episode yet, pause here and go watch it. Welcome back. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. And well, here's our thoughts. So we start off the episode with our two gentlemen baking a pie. And yeah, they're baking a pie and they're in a rush. Before I head to the main character for this one, uh, did anybody see the egg timer or the apple timer here? And the numbers are in our number? Well, let's see. I got to look up a screenshot real quick because it's always... It's always... Like, you can always make out a letter or something and it looks like our alphabet, Mm -hmm. but it's like really stylized. Mm -hmm. But this one is really our time. Like, even the minutes on this one. Oh, Oh, yeah. That's not even a little style. It's in the right position. It's technically, it's our time. In actuality, if you remember in season three or season, no, season two, was it? Yeah. Oh, I forgot. What was the one where Twilight was singing about the equation song again? The equation, the equation song. song. Oh, oh, that's season three of the at the start, the Crystal Empire. Oh, yeah. Where she's talking about the square root of something, something. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was well, technically they did it a long time ago, but yeah, yeah, yeah they did it a long time ago. So yeah, there's nothing to be surprised. But here is really prominent. I'm just proud that I picked up what you were talking about. Yeah. My memory has served me well. Yeah, yeah. So anywho, um, carrying on. Spike calls upon the Discord, asking him for help. And Discord, you know, he's busy doing Star Trek stuff, probably. And Big Mac kind of whispers to him, saying, Yo, Spike, no doubt and do some D&D, man. And yeah, Spike does the D&D, and huzzah, Captain... What was his name again? I forget, Radish Hands. Yeah, Radish Hands. Oh, Captain something something. But anywho, uh, he, but anywho he comes... Appearing and says, "All right, gentlemen, let's play some D and D." And Discord says, "What? Uh, we're not playing D and Ds. You you summon me. Like, come on. Like, you don't summon a guy out for a guy's night and not do D and D. There's a guy's code here. Yo, yeah. You do not abuse the D and D call. It is a sacred bond. Yeah, yeah. And his name is Captain Woos. All right then." So, yeah, they explain the situation to Discord, and Discord says, I'm not Trixie, for God's sakes. I do real chaotic magic. Come on. Well, I, I just say, while well, he's being so resistant, Big Mac makes a pouty face. I know. And you can, you cannot say no to that face. I know. Even Discord can say no, and he says, uh, you know what, okay, 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 I'll bite. Okay, uh, bippity bobbity pie done. All right. And... They explain it to Discord that the pie is for Big Mac's girlfriend, sweetie, no, not sweet, uh, Sugar Bell, and there's a hidden message inside. And yeah, I, I like this part where Discord snaps his fingers, um, pops the message out, and reads it. And like, oh god, this is sappy. And snaps his finger, and the message goes back into the pie. That's pretty cool. I, I like this one. This is really creative here. Although. When you said this is sappy, it sounded like you said this is saffy. Gee, it's thanks, like saffy. I, I said Am sappy. Am I in the episode? <laughs> uh, wait, it, it, apparently you are. If if the letter is saffy, then you're in the pie. You've been baked into a pie. Oh my! Oh no! But anyway. that means you're an upper. Cr- that means you're an upper crust character. <laughs> Yay! Oh, well, wait a minute. But, but anywho, but anywho, um, after that, Big Mac just you no. Know, uh, Happily wraps the pie and ships it off to the well, post office. But before that, Spike says, Yo, Discord, aren't you in love with Fluttershy every time you go for tea and whatnot? And me? In love with Fluttershy? How preposterous, but I do love tea. All of the teas. 
and he lists them down. And I like the uh, TV motion thingy with the diagrams about um, peppermint, mint, uh, chai, or whatever it is. There's more. I, I like I like that. I like chai. Yeah. So, I like green. I'm a chai guy. I, I like milk tea. Milk tea's nice. Oh, that is good. Yeah. That is good. I, I love it. They basically are just addressing the flutter courtship. It's like, oh, no, no, he's totally denied. But they don't understand. Denying only makes the shippers ship harder. I know. Right, Safi? Hate. <laughs> kisu, kisu. But anywho. Norman, uh, you're dead to me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. But in No, you're not. You're definitely not sorry. Oh, uh, you don't believe me? <laughs> I really don't. <laughs> <laughs> so, anywho, Big Mac sends the pie to the post office, and Spike and Discord makes a wager about, well, changing his mind about true love or something like that. Or something like that. So, yeah. Basically, he has to convince Discord that love is real and that Hearts of Host Day means more than a cheap way to sell goods and baked goods and you know artificial affection yeah yeah so again the the voice of cynicism <laughs> yeah but over this artificial holiday i'm not bitter me yeah. but anywho as we head to the post office we see our favorite mail mare derpy hooves yay She's not oh, my oh favorite. You, can't, you can't say that now you see you're you're uh you're censored oh, oh no oh no uh, i mean uh muffins yes muffins Yes. Let's see. Um, <laughs> we, we get muffins here. And yeah, she handles the package and kind of smudges the ink on something. And yeah, this is... Back here is what I fear the most when parcel goes to the post office. Don't you guys too? I'm in America. I'm afraid that someone's going to inspect it and destroy it and then just say, nope, it was to defend the country from... The male terrorists. The male terror of what? Neckties? It's okay. So, um, a long while ago, uh, Norman, apparently somebody, uh, got blown up by a mail package. And then everybody in America got super afraid that they were being delivered bombs. So, yeah. <laughs> oh no, I, I, that I do understand. But the thing is, like, the way that your parcel is handled by the mailmen's is with maximum contempt. <laughs> yeah, there's even just about it online. You see how mailman handles your post, like they just toss it out and whatnot. Like that's scary. And for this one here, oh wow, technically Big Mac should have not done this because you're sending food, and especially apple pie. There's a what you call this lifespan limit on that one. I think what a few days or a few hour or something like that yes yeah, well it's it, it's within the same town you'd hope they're if the post office can't even get the same town in the, in a span of a day we're gonna have problems yeah they're going to start like village and that's a bit far but i'll tell you true i mailed a package for the last crystal mountain pony con okay vending stuff and the box arrived looking as if it had been in a dogfight. <laughs> you had to physically assault this box to reach that level of damage. Like, what in the hoo ha were, were the goods inside at least like fine or no? Oh, they they were they were fine. They were well manageable. But I was just thinking, what on earth were they doing? I know, I know, and that worries me. Uh, but anywho, but anywho. Uh, moving on, we get to see that the CMCs are helping Big Mac out with the barn decoration because, well, Big Mac wants to surprise Sugar Bell by having a meal in the barn and stuff, and the CMCs are going to help. Suddenly, the CMCs hear a knock on the door, and somehow, there's a package there. Oh, wow, it's a square box and has a smudge thing on top like it's a letter from who to who and it has a smudge and bell and they both assume it's for sweetie bell sweetie bell has a secret admirer Ooh, awesomeness yay oh these kids today they grow up so fast i know Meh. 
So they're all excited about it and like, oh yay, Sweetie Belle has a secret admirer. And who is it? Now they have to go CMC, uh, Cutie Mark, uh, what you might call this, clue hunting, whatever it is. What did they call them in their recent comics over? Super sleuths. Yay! They have to go so slooping. That just sounds like a weird sport. <laughs> Welcome to slooping. Yay. <laughs> So, anywho. Hang on, super, stupid, hang on. That's what that reminded me of, anyway. Hmm. <laughs> but, anywho, Discord and Spike travels all around uh, Ponyville and looking at the, well, lovey dovey ponies all about. From the two flying Pegasus to the two ponies walking, and we get to see our favorite best friend exchanging gifts. Yay! Oh, yes, best friends. Yeah. They're, they're best friends. They're really good friends. Good, good friends. Although there's also a pair of stallions at Sugar Cube Corner, and hey, take that as you will. I didn't notice that one. Is it in the uh, gallery? Uh, prob- well, I'm looking. I'm mostly going by memory. Here's a funny thing. This is the shift in our culture. People are looking for better representation of all parties involved. So it's a really big deal to show two guys or two women on a date together. I... Wonder sometimes, you know, in a in a Hollywood blockbuster, a guy and a girl go through a lot, and suddenly they're dating or they're in love, and you're like, "Wait, you had like zero chemistry. <laughs> Why are you telling me this?" It's important not to take any relationship for granted, regardless of the parties involved. True. So, the good representation for all means putting some effort into it. Yeah, true. But for ponies, well, you- for straight and gay couples. Yes. Yeah, but for ponies, what do you think? Like, did they do it right or did they rush it in? Well, one, phrasing. <laughs> okay, I, I I jump into that one. Well, actually, huh. I actually believe there are two stallion uh, pairs. And yeah, uh, let's see here. Crusaders walking past Ponyville Cafe. You see a yellow pony with a great cutie mark and a brown coated pony with a palm tree cutie mark. And they are at a table fully decorated with hearts and hopes things. So the implication is very strong. Oh, if you notice, Cheerilee has a boyfriend. Well, Cheerilee is actually seen with several stallions throughout the episode. So oh she my. got game. She got game. Now that, ev- now that everyone's abandoned the Chirimac ship within the show, she's just go. Actually, wait. That stallion she's with. Where was the Crusaders walking by the cafe? Dang it all, this gallery. <laughs> yeah, the gallery's not really um, full. Yes. Oh, two-timer. The, when she's on a balcony helping a stallion hang uh, decorations, mm-hmm. later that stallion is with uh, Amethyst Star. Oh, my. And looking very shy and nervous as he... I think Julie was just helping him set up so he could talk to her. But she's still seen with several other guys. So, yeah, Cheerilee got gay. Yeah, 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 yeah. <coughs> if she breathed, she's a thought. <laughs> but, anywho, uh, while they're walking around Ponyville, they notice a pony walking to Sugar Coop Corner and said, Pony is Sugar Bell. What? What? What is she doing here? She's not supposed to be here. And, yeah, they overhear Miss uh, Sugar Bell and Mrs. Cake talk. And it seems that. Sugar Bell's going to dump Big Mac. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, oh, no. Well, her her exact words are, it's over. Yeah, and oh, no, that's not good. But I do like one of uh, Spike's theory of why uh, Sugar Bell's there. And his line was, uh, oh, maybe Sugar Bell has a wacky cousin who never been on his own. And... She has to leave him in charge of her shop while she's apprentices with Mrs. Cakes, who does that like two days a week. No, I uh, three. That's why she won't need you to come to her village because anymore because she'll already be here. And Spike says, "Nah, that's not it." And remember that's that line. That's it, isn't it? Remember that line, folks. That's a good one. So yeah. They pop in back to Big Mac's kitchen and tell uh, Big Mac about it. And Big Mac rushes to Sugar Cube Corner. 
while Discord and Spike vamps to the bush that they were hiding. And yay, Big Mac is all lovey-dovey. And before he stumbles upon Sugar Bell, he jumps to the bushes and here's what they have to say. And oh boy. They're creeping in the bushes. I mean, ladies and gentlemen, this is not a healthy relationship when you spy on your girlfriend from the bushes. I'm just going to put that out there. This is Silver Quill's relationship advice. Don't spy on your significant other from the bushes. You do it from the darkened room for the next house over. Yeah. <laughs> but basically, everything Sugar Bell says suggests that they are broken up. And thus, we get to witness a heart petrify and shatter as Big Mac collapses. Oh, no. She a thought. And then fade up on Sweet Apple Acres as Big Mac ha- enjoys a very dramatic crying animation. Yeah. The animators really went all out on expressing his grief and sorrow and him drowning his sorrows in cider, which might be our first hint of alcoholism. Or, yeah, yeah, because... I thought there was another episode where they hinted in alcohol. No, nah, no, nah. here's the thing. Ever since the Super Squeezy Cider 6000 episode... They had to change cider into apple juice for other countries. And because of how the United States is, you have two versions of cider. uh, Normal cider and hard cider. So this could be just normal cider. Uh, You could say it's sissy cider and sissier cider. (laughs) Oh, boys. Why don't you have a real man's drink like a mango Rita? (laughs) I personally like sex on the beach. Oh, I love that drink. You don't even know what that is, do you, Silver? I know both versions, thank you very much. (laughs) Oh, boys. But anywho, Spike here just tries to cheer Big Mac up, and you you involve Discord. Uh, Discord's not gonna help. Discord's just trying to brush this off and say other fish in the sea, other mares out there. You know, we could we could resurrect that whole Chiramac ship. Yep, yep, yep. And yeah, this, this is the thing where Big Mac is feeling down in the dumps. Uh, you have one friend who's trying to cheer you up by saying, you know, you're not technically breaking up yet, so you probably still have a chance and whatnot. So yeah, remember all the good times and whatnot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you have one of your buddies here with Discord saying, you know what? You deserve better, and let's go party, man. Like, let's go to the club at 12 p.m. in the afternoon. Well, it is nice to see Zoot Suit Discord again. Yeah. So, as we go to the club, we get to see a very grumpy Big Mac. And whatever Discord's doing is not helping. No, but I think I think you just described Discord's role in this show in one sentence. Oh, what? and whatever whatever Discord's doing, it's not helping. Oh yeah, that's <laughs> true. So, anywho, Discord is trying. You know what? I have to give it to Discord because he's trying his best to cheer up a friend in his own special way, and said way is very very chaotic. Which Wait, is- I have I have the thing to say. What are you doing? My best. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, anywho, talking about your best, right? We have the CMCs, yay! Uh, okay, Th- this is. The th- I'm I'm with Safi that this didn't feel terribly needed, uh, but here's the thing: you have them looking for Sweetie Bell's possible admirers, and note that they only look after the Colts. Mm-hmm. All there are like four in Ponyville, five. Mm-hmm. You got Peep Squeak, Button Mash, Snip and Snail. Sips and Snails, uh, Truffle Shuffle, and that one young colt with a slight overbite and first base. Uh-huh. So, si- seven. There are seven colts in this entire town. Oh, don't forget Rumble. There are eight colts in this entire town. <laughs> Would anyone else like to make this harder for me? <laughs> I feel like that guy in Monty Python. I use one, two, well, there's three. Well, sandbar. <laughs> nah, he's not. He's, he's more teenager. I'm not oh, getting boys. I'm not counting Sandbar. But, but yeah. one, note that they, the thought never occurs to the girls that it might be another filly who's interested. So, you know, that's so much for representation. <laughs> <laughs> right after Button Mash, which is just sort of a bitter, bitter feeling <laughs> for fans. Yes. 
Are you interested in, in Sweetie Bell? No, sorry, there's a copyright claim against you. Oh, that hurts, man. But that the, hurts. Hey, I said it was bitter. But uh, Snips and Snails, Sweetie Bell goes to them and then acts like, oh, please, oh, please don't let them be interested in me. Why is that a bad thing? It's... Why is the idea that that a cult might find you wonderfully attractive or or just uh, be very interested in you wanting to have a relationship, you're not required, but it's not a slight against you either. True, true, but in this situation here right now, it's just played for laughs because just imagine if Bulk and Skull are interested in quote-unquote Trini and yeah. They were. <laughs> Oh, okay, they were. Okay, and they turned and they turned them down and that was that I mean Bulk and Skull were rather idealized bullies in that they understood limits mm-hmm. but it was not the girls never treated it as oh this is the worst most tragic thing ever how could we actually be considered attractive by another human being <laughs> I get it's played for jokes but it doesn't work I don't know it's one of the situations where I kind of giggle at the idea of um, snips and snails but here's the thing when you're a kid you have standards and what are you saying adults don't oh adults who's hot who's not <laughs> that's who's basically that? the game they're playing yeah yeah I mean in this, in, in, in this situation right here right now they're just kids and they're I they have over idealized standards for what they want and they're shallow that's all I have to say kids they're shallow. I mean, not too long ago, Silver, remember they were trying to uh, get Big Mac with the girl based on the fairy tale book? Mm-hmm. Well, I, I was actually thinking of their Find a Date song for Cheerily. Oh, yeah, yeah. This one's too young. This one's too old. He has a cold. Yeah, that'll dis- that'll disqualify you from love. <laughs> you have a cold. Norman, your sniffles have condemned you to a life of solitude. Oh, no. Same with your coughs. Oh, no. And your hacks. Oh, no. I'm going to be alone forever. Oh, no. That's right. You've got a hacking cough, so you're a love hack. (laughs) (coughs) But anywho, but... I'm glad you're laughing, even though what I'm saying is terribly mean. I know. I haven't been in a relationship for over... uh, What is this now? Eight. Yeah, eight years. (laughs) Oh. I'm sorry. But anywho, talking about love, we go to 2D. Yay. So now, Discord is setting Big Mac up with a... Oh my god. Talk about your... Your waifu? Yeah, waifu. Oh, how does the anime community says? Yeah, waifu is a word. Waifu. Or your 2D love. Or your flat romance. Whatever it is. Ooh, bad romance. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Just dance, bad romance. Yeah. So, so anywho, um, Miss uh, Captain Woods here is setting up Big Mac with well, uh, a cardboard skeleton. Yep. <laughs> and because of course. Yes. 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 And yeah, it seems that um, yay. And Discord snaps them off to another location so they can have privacy. And yay, uh, Discord is, well, Spike wants to know what's going on. And yeah, they spy on them for a bit. And oh my goodness, uh, Big Mac is expressing all... Crying. Yeah, it's, what's the... Expressing all his feelings? Uh, throwing his feelings? What, what was that word I'm forgetting? Um, He's emoting? He's venting? Venting? Oh, well, he's just crying. And... Poor skeleton lady is like, oh my god, this is so awkward. Get me out of here. Well, I mean, he's crying on a paper creature. That'll kill her. Big Mac, you're trying to commit murder. Oh, no problem, man. Death uh, death by crying. Oh, you can also see the skeleton there is pissed off with Discord. Well, you gave me life for this. <laughs> oh, yeah, so anywho, uh, they go back to the barn and Spike here says the most... Valuable lesson. Hide and don't face your problems. Yay! Granted, Spike's not exact. Well, okay. His his love poetry, his uh, 
relationship counseling is about as good as his poem. Or like his friendship problem solving skills. Uh, that's later. That, or is that sooner? I forget where that falls in the grand scheme. That's of. previous with his uh, friendship problem solving skills. Like last season where uh, Torex and Ember fought each other. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, basically, the world hates you, Spike. You should just learn to accept it. <laughs> Sadness is everywhere. And, well, they hide, and the CMC comes in, and, well, talk about not finding Sweetie Belle's secret admirer and whatnot, and, and Devil Discord here uh, tells Big Mac about, oh, technically you're not broken up yet, and you should break up, break up with her, and that way you won't be feeling bad and whatnot. Ah, do it, do it, no! <laughs> I'm starting to think Big Mac needs better friends. Oh, yeah, that's true. But anywho, uh, at Sugar Cube Corner, Sugar Bell kind of talks to Mrs. Cake and, well, explains how she wants to talk to Big Mac and says, um, How about this? Big Mac, we need to talk. And Mrs. Cake, Oh no, dearie, that sounds terrible. You're really bad at this, aren't you? Yeah, she is. Although, here's a question. All these Hearts and Hoods episodes, granted, all these amounts to two. Yeah. two, how come there hasn't been an episode just... Help the cake celebrate Hearts and Hooves Day. You know, they're married. They're a couple. They're tending to kids. It's hard to maybe set up a romantic interlude. So how about Pinkie Pie and the others help them out? Would that be a bad episode? I think not. Yeah, that would be a great one. But still, that's probably for the future or some comic or whatever it is. <laughs> yeah, they, they, I'm afraid we're coming to the end of the of this iteration. No, there may not it be is true. Another... It's true. It's okay, Norman. It's okay. Just just accept the apocalypse. It can't be true. No. No. Search your feelings. You know it to be true. No, it's not true. I can be denial I want. <laughs> Safi, you want to offer any uh, coaching? We can't do worse than Spike or Discord. Watch more anime. <laughs> no, anime sucks. Well, now see here, you. <laughs> well, now I think we just lost half our our uh, Weibo fan base. Oh man, no. I all honesty, anime is fun. You just need to find the right one. Uh, anyway, anyway. How dare you, Norman? What is true? Not all anime. How is... dare? <laughs> he dares just fine. Thank yes, you, friends. <laughs> so, anywho, uh, okay. back on topic. Uh, Big Mac pops in and Sugar Bell is happy to see him. But before they could say anything, Big Mac is. Big Mac says, I'm breaking up with you. See you later. And yeah, that breaks Sugar Bell's heart and she starts crying and whatnot. Like, well, what did I do? Okay, it may break her heart, but we don't see it petrify and shatter like Big Mac. Oh, well, he's. <laughs> uh. She's not the main character. But anywho, we see Big Mac moping around and seeing, well, uh, love in the air from, like I mentioned before, we see Lyra and Bon Bon, uh, best friends, exchanging gifts. And from uh, Boulder and who now? Uh, I forgot. Oh, uh, Mudbriar? Yeah, Mudbriar and Mud, but they're pets. Boulder and... Who now the stick? Sticky? Woody? Boulder and Twig? Twiggy? Alright, let's let's go for Twiggy yeah. then. Yeah. Yeah, and then we got to see um uh, who now? Um the donkeys and uh oh. Cranky and Matilda. Yeah, Cranky and Matilda. Yeah. And so there's a more, like there's Rose Luck and Lily and yeah, the the, the the relationship here is all over the place. Yay. And Big Mike's feeling so bad. And sucky and whatnot. And yeah, they pop into the barn and the CMCs are trying or talking things out and yeah, they're having a hard time and Sweetie Bell's also kind of having a hard time because they can't decide or can't find out who is the pony that's in love with Sweetie Bell or her admirer and whatnot. And within all that thing there, Big Mac just lashes out at Sweetie Belle and accidentally hurt her feeling. And yet he has a remarkable ability for self-reflection as in the midst of all this turmoil, he sort of realizes, oh, I'm doing this and I'm taking it out on you and I'm sorry. 
I kind of appreciate Sweetie Belle being the bigger pony here and uh, understanding and knowing that he just needs to vent. Sometimes she is the most mature of the Crusaders. Sometimes. Not, necessar- not necessarily the one who can dictate action, but mature, but also the most vengeful. S- Sweetie Belle will rain doom on your head, man. Oh, yeah. And yeah, while this is all happening, Discord has a, a Fifini and vamps out. And yeah, Big Mac. You mean an epiphany? Epiphany. Epif- epiphany, yes. yes, thank you. So, anywho, he vamps, <laughs> and Big Mac says, I know what I must do. And he just skedaddles to, well, wherever he needs to go. Spike here says, Discord, we need to help Big Mac. And oh, he's gone. Yeah, that's Discord for you. Hey. And on the edge of town, we see Sweetie, well, Sugar Bell being all mopey, and oh, oh, it's me. And oh, my wagon wheel's broken. Oh, I'm in the mud. This is the worst possible day ever. Oh, no. Sugar Bell being all woe is me. It's just kind of like, she's filled with woe. Woe. No, the other kind of woe. Ah. But anywho, Big Mac goes up to her and says he's sorry, and he says that... <sighs> I understand if you don't want me anymore and stuff. And Sugar Bell says, no, that's not it. Where, where do you get that idea from? The reason why I wanted to talk to you is because, well, remember that line from before, guys? The one that I was talking about? Yeah, I'm not really guffawing on this one. It's like, wow, I could see that coming from a mile away. Yeah, it's like, yeah, yeah. So it's like, <laughs> oh, Okay. And Big Mac says, whoa, wait till I tell Spike. Because that's what you're thinking about as you're trying to patch things up with your girlfriend. Uh, don't be thinking about another guy while you're trying to patch things up with your girlfriend. It's, uh, like, oh, but still, <laughs> but still. You are really bad at this. Big Mac suffers from not having a relationship guidance. Oh, man. He's relying on D&D players. You take that back. But anywho... Hey, I will remind you that uh, that Josh Scorcher, who runs a D&D, several D&D podcasts, is now engaged. Yay, congratulations! Yep. And I knew about it all along. <laughs> and yet, Spike and Discord are not exactly paragons of relationship advice. He's been, he's had the deck stacked against him so bad. I mean, so bad. <laughs> but still, but still. In this scenario here, they make up and they... Well, I, I don't even think they're even broken up in the first place. Well, even if they are, they got back together again. And they... Uh, well, they, they love each other very much. And you, know, you can see that Big Mac cares for Sugar Bell. And hey, they go back to the barn and whatnot. Yay. And she does her cutie laugh where she snorts a yeah. lot. Yeah. Which, I'm glad Big Mac finds that cute, because I don't. Some people have quirks. We all know this, right? Ye. Ha, quirks. Quirk? Quirks? I know nothing of quirks. What is this quirk you speak of? Well, let's see. When a human is born, suddenly they gain superpowers, and then that's a quirk. (laughs) Hey, I wouldn't mind that. My Hero Academia is awesome. Yeah. But anywho, but anywho, um, we go back to the Crusaders. And uh, Sweetie Belle's feeling rather depressed. And her friends, well, give her pie. And yeah, you know, you know what? Even if I don't have a boyfriend, I still have pie. And yeah, upon eating pie, she discovers a letter. And reads the note and, Oh, this pie is for Sugar Belle, not Sweetie Belle. Oh, I feel silly now. <laughs> I mean, that, da- that flashback to Dave Chappelle... You know, Chappelle show, where he has a big laugh and then punches a guy <laughs> just for, just because. Yeah. <laughs> Bam. Makes sense. Yeah, yeah. So, anywho, Discord and Spike uh, travel this town of Ponyville at night, and well, and Spike says, "Yeah, Discord, what did I say? You eventually feel the love and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And all this time, Discord has been trying to, you know." build a ship in a bottle and whatnot. You know those things, those miniatures? Yep. <coughs> and actually, Discord says, oh, who do you think broke Sugar Bell's 
cart. Oh, anything was a cart all along. Oh, Discord knew this all along from the very start. Ah, because of course he did. At least we can confirm Discord is a shipper. Oh, yeah, I mean, he's, he's not really a shipper. He is in it for the chaos, but he wants his best friend to, well, have a good time. No, no, no! I got to I got to fight you on this. He is building a ship in a bottle. He is a shipper. It's not even a ship. It's a wagon. No, he wants them to get hitched. Hey, Mama Rock. Oh, but anywho, but anywho. Hey, hey, Norman is befuddled by my by my clever words there. <laughs> yeah. But anywho, but, but anywho, um, Spike. See, see, I told you, I told you. But anywho, this course says. Yo, uh, since this is all done, let's go for some D&D. Yay, dress up. And Spike says, um, Discord, do you think a skeleton woman will be there? And Discord says, Spike. I'm worried about you, brah. And like, she's an imaginary one-dimensional paper cuddle skeleton. Dude, you have problems here. And Spike says, well, nobody's perfect. And they vamp out to the D&D world. And episode ends. Yay. Before we go to the final thoughts, anything you want to bring up? D- Discord is a shipper. <laughs> Wants them to get hitched. Yeah. I'm sticking by these words. Yep, yep. Uh, okay, how many cliches did we see in this? The miscommunication, mm-hmm. the hunt for the boy, the breakup that isn't going to stick. There's no will they, won't they, because you know they're going to get back together by the mm-hmm. end. So I could see why people would have a lot to critique about this, but... I guess I am in my final thoughts now. I had fun. I had fun watching them be silly. And I like the Dungeons and Dragons trio. Uh, oh, sorry. Oubliettes and Ogres. Or is it Ogres and Oubliettes? Ogres Oubliettes. And Oubliettes. They, they changed. Ogres and Oubliettes. They changed their tune between the comics and show. I still I still wait for the day where Shining Armor shows up begging Discord, let me into this game. Please. Oh, join the group. Yeah, I, I would love to see that, man. Like, having a... You, you know what? Here's what I want. Having... Shining Armor's crew play Ogres and Oogliets with Discord's crew. And they have a big party and, yeah, with... You know, it'll be awesome. Only if they have, like, a West Side Story face-off. But da 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 <laughs> Oh, boys. Is it? Or Michael Jackson's Beat It. I'll, I'll take either. Uh, is that Silva? Well, yeah. Like I said, the only joke I, that really didn't fly for me was Sweetie Belle... Acting like it would be the end of the world if Snips or Snails found her attractive. Wow. That's not even first world problems. Oh, boy. That's something even more shallow. Honestly, we've seen how they grow up and, oh, God, no. Do we? Equestria Uh, no, that's... I don't view that as their future. Well, it's a possible future. Snips and Snails, I am the ghost of spinoffs <laughs> past. Tonight, you will be visited by three humans. That's a human... You'll soon find out. Ooh. Ooh. But anywho, uh, Sappy, what about you? Didn't you hear me during the first time around when I brought this up? <laughs> Final thoughts and also discussion points. Me no likey. Alrighty then. And as for me, this episode was a lot of fun, but the B plot with Sweetie Belle and her love story was really not needed like it okay i kind of understand why they wanted it there so big mac could have an outlet to vent yeah but i I don't know it's kind of missing the bad yeah yeah. i i I don't know man like silver was right like could not pinkie pie send out love messages for single ponies and show tell, tell them that they're loved and whatnot she could do that, right? I mean... You are loved. <laughs> yeah. You don't know it, but you are loved. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that is an option, right? But still, I, I still like this episode. And yeah, the interaction and the lovey-dovey stuff. Yeah, it's, it's all fun. It's all fun. So anyhow, Silver, what are we going to do next week? Well, next week, we're going to switch over to the comics as we look at Legends of Magic number four. Start... Was it four? Yes, starring Flash Magnus. Yeah. Ah! Savior of the Griffins! <laughs> yeah, yep, so that one will be next week's thing, and honestly, I am feeling happy to do it. So, anywho, 
If you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at dmbshowgmail.com. If you want to reach us on the Twitters, the show's Twitter account is at dmbshow. My personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. And Silver, where can the good people find you? Well, you can find me lots of places. You can find me here on YouTube where uh, just a search for After the Fact will clue you in. You can find me on DeviantArt under MLP-Silver-Quill where I produce a Pinkie Pie Says Goodnight comic every night before a new episode. Thank goodness we're done with all these early airings. I can actually slow down a little on that Yay. one. And and you can find me on Equestria Daily every Wednesday, where I post a comic review or editorial. All right. All right. And Seppi, what about you? In your dreams. That's where you can find me. Uh, <laughs> how about <laughs> I wanted no. to make a bad pun. Anyways. Uh, <laughs> is that what is that the dream where I'm like having the world's biggest marshmallow and then I wake up and my rarity plushie is gone? <laughs> Sounds about right. Uh just look up Anime Christie and you'll basically find me anywhere between uh Twitter, DeviantArt, buy me coffee, send me money, watch my streams on Twitch. All right, all right. Yeah, that's pretty much it. All right. And also, please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date. Silva, does that work? Pressing the bell icon? Nope. I don't know. Actually, it does. Yeah. I, I okay. Kid. Yeah, you should do it. You should do it to stay up to date with our shenanigans. And Stitcher Radio and also like us on Facebook. Yes, we have the Facebooks. You can also catch us on com. Also, do subscribe to the Review and Discussion Podcast on iTunes and Stitcher Radio. You'll get to hear us banter about pony episodes, comics, and movies, and also other stuff like Miracle Lady about Kisu Kisu. So yeah, do that there. <laughs> do that there. So anywho... Don't do that. Yes, do it, do it. So anyway, if you'd like to support the show, you can do so at Patreon.com. With every support, you'll get a week's early access to the Review and Discussion Podcast, exclusive and deleted content, and a huge thank you from me. Talking about thank yous, I would like to thank Master of Lag, Amy, Charles, Lucky Knight, Tristan, Starstream, Lurker Cat, and also Jeffrey. Thank you so much, guys, for the awesome support. Be awesome. Anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo. I am Cecil Vaquil. And I am dead inside. I will, guys, catch you next week with another episode of the show. See ya. Kisu kisu. Bye bye. Oh, my heart. I can't take it anymore. <laughs> Let's break it some more. <laughs> I'm just waiting for the holiday episode where if the animatics are any hint, we get to see Marvel Pie react to... Uh, oh. Oh. 